also, I was able to get it fired up. I just used the heat packet right here. Set it on the starter. Left it for a while, maybe it did something, I don't know. And then I banged on it a little bit with a tire iron. Maybe to break it up, get the ice free. And then I was able to start it in the garage so I can actually get it out of there. I'll show you a seat removal, which is pretty easy. There's a latch back here, which you can't see. Right there. And then all you do is slide it backwards. So those bars come out of the hinge. Just slides out of there. Now that the seat's off, it's pretty easy to see. We've got, I believe, crankcase breathers. So we got that duct there. It's just got pipe clamps. And some simple fasteners on each side. Now that everything's loose, this is the first part to come out. And there you go. So looking at the next duct here, you can see there's a pipe clamp. But well, hopefully, you let this bottom come out and then you slide it away. Got the second duct out. The real problem is the top part that goes up in there because there's no way to pull it down while yanking it up. You can't get it out this way, so I just folded it over right here in this bend and it popped out. Back with the other parts. Careful down there. Things get hairy. Alright, I'm gonna clean up all this crap out of there so it doesn't get in. And then I can disconnect the battery and get those wires off. I've exposed the hot wire, you can see the bolt on the side. These are all 10 millimeters. It's just the three, and it'll pop out after I wiggle it loose. Okay, got this thing free. A lot of quick wiggles while you pull and it'll release. Maybe you see right there. So I'm guessing we had some hookup with the O-rings. There you go. O-ring's actually kind of stuck to the cylinder in there where the Bendix is. I don't know if you get a good picture of this. Yeah, there you go. So you got to free it up through there. I'm sure there's water getting in there. Here's a comparison of the old with the new. Straight from China somewhere, I'm sure, off of eBay. Maybe it was Amazon. 40 bucks. Good reviews, good stuff. Now I gotta slide it in. I'll put some grease on the O-rings and shove it in there until the gears mesh. So that pretty much slid right into place. That was way too easy. A lot of lube makes it easy. I actually took off the nut and lock washer so I could just put the cable on without losing it later. And just get these guys back in. Too simple. Now I just curse myself. I'll probably never get that duct back in. Oh, we'll see. Three bolts, a couple wires. Now I want to share a conundrum. I bent the duct right here. There's a natural curve there already. So it kind of made it easy to bend down. Then I was able to fit it up in the slot. But now my problem is actually getting into... There's no way to see it. Getting it into the pipe clamp, because that... And it's very soft. It just does not want to go in because it's so pliable. It wants to move around. But anywho, might have to put that in first to get the whole thing in. We'll see. I gotta show you this. So I'm currently two beers in on this stupid thing. And lo and behold, the way to get it in was just to get the not this side, the back side first. And then just wiggle it towards you, towards the camera, and back. And then the thing just folded over the damn duct. Voila. So yeah, that was a huge pain in the ass. Make sure to uh, lube up that duct piece before you slide it into the rubber pipe clamp housing deal. 
hose. I don't know. I don't care. I'm just glad it's in. Now I can cinch up the clamp. Realize I skipped a step at the beginning, taking off this panel. But at least you'll see it here. Well, you probably already got it figured out by now. Just slides into a couple notches. And it's got a couple buttons. That was horseshit. But there you can see what's going on. Slide those in, line those up, twist them, and then you're good to go. So I'll do that.